Hello, everyone, and welcome to Peyton with Pete. I'm your host, ba Pete Ross, the strange son of Bob Ross. Over there on the piano is my lovely assistant, Wen Hao Li. And today, we are going to provide art through the expression of music and visual emotion. You see, music can provide different inspirations and fuel different emotions. We plan on exploiting my feeble emotions to give you guys art. So let's begin. Let's start with something simple. Let's say the sky. I love this deep, deep blue. And I'm just using a broad stroke brush here. But this guy, maybe there's something coming in. Are these clouds? Whoosh. Just do a whooshing motion here. The clouds are taking over. They're taking over the sky, making it a gray, gloomy kind of day. Why is it such a gloomy day? What comes from clouds? Is it rain? Just again, a wishing motion with the rain. Just wish away your pain with the rain. Is it rain? Or are these tears? Tears falling from the man above stairs. He's crying. What is he crying on? How about we add some turkeys here. A nice fat turkey. I'm sure a lot of you folks had turkey with the family over the holidays. Holidays are supposed to be such a happy time with the family. Supposed to be. Turkey. Oh, you're a fat turkey. Just like how I used to get called fat in middle school. The bully is always making me feel so sad. So alone. Fly away, turkey, but turkeys can't fly. They're trapped. Trapped in their emotion. Such a beautiful creature, trapped all alone, all alone. Man. How about we give you a friend? Or no, you don't have a friend, Turkey, because you're all alone. But you have the grass to play in. At least that's nice. Again, a whooshing motion here. Just whoosh. Spread the paints around and really let yourself just feel the emotions. That green grass reminds me of my summers with the family. Well, with my father and his girlfriend, Teresa. They always said, let's watch that sunset. We'd always go to his beach house and they'd say, oh, look at the pretty reds and oranges, but I did not want to be there, Dad. No. I wanted to have summers with my friends. You took me with Teresa and her family. You ruined my summers. You ruined them for three years in a row. The sunset with its oranges and reds. Again, whooshing motion along here. Like the blood and mirage of anger and pain swelling in my heart. 
I'm just combining the orange and the red here to make this sunset backdrop on the far left corner here. And you wanted me to be a ball player. And I said, Dad, I don't want to play baseball. Whoops. Sometimes my anger overwhelms me, I'm sorry. <sighs> the doctor says it's not good for me, but I say, screw you, doctor. Who are you with your medical degree to tell me what to do? down here. I'm going to use this. I'm pick, coming back to the fan brush here. This house. I like this house. Doing log cabins, doing side strokes. This reminds me of my grandmother's home out in the country. It was a nice house, you know? She'd always wake us up. There was always something baking. Excellent cook. My grandfather used to read us stories. Excellent storyteller. I always loved going out there. It was an escape from my father. Nice gray. They had this beautiful gray door on the front. That was my favorite part. Summer spinning out there in the countryside with him, you know. It, it makes you thankful for what you have. And I think that's really it, you know. That's where they originally taught me to paint. My father is the famous one, but uh, he's not so good. It's out of bright, they had this bright red handle on the door. My grandmother said, you know, add some color to your life. And she's really the one who inspired me. Made me appreciate everything in life. Let's add a roof to this. Again, sticking with this brown, and I'm again going to be sticking with these side strokes here. You know, sometimes I think we get overwhelmed with the pain in our lives. We really think back. You've come this far in your life, and think about what you have to be thankful for. Think about those who love you well. There might be those stupid doctors telling you all that stupid doctor stuff. Think about your grandmother what a lovely woman she is. I'm gonna give this turkey a friend because we all deserve a friend in our lives. And that's my Mimi. Sweet Mimi. Man, this reminds me of that friend Jonathan. We got bullied together a lot, but he and I stuck together, and I might give Jonathan a call after this. I haven't talked to him in a couple years. Yes. Again, fanning emotion on this. Light brush strokes, light brush strokes. We don't want to go too heavy on this, so that they can kind of collapse onto each other. There it is, that's nice, I like that. that Toy Story song, You've Got a Friend in Me. I hope that through painting, you can find your friends. Go to a painting class, meet some people, you know. Get out there, don't listen to those stupid doctors, have some fun. And that's what life's all about, is just having some fun. 
Let's see, I'm gonna go back to this blue, this light blue, but this time it's not tears falling from the sad, sad sky. It's, it's a pond. And again, I don't, when you're painting, you don't know what's coming out of it. You just feel your inner beauty. There, I like that. Don't be upset with, you know, see this is a little murky water, that's okay. That's what life is. Sometimes there's some murky things that get in the way, but you just keep going through and you find your little happy place. I used to go fishing with my grandfather at this pond and those were some good times. Let's add some final green touches to this. Surrounding the pond. Again, light strokes. Don't press too hard with the brush. There it is. And it's okay if they run into each other, that's really fine. Because that's what life is. Running, sometimes you feel like you're running in circles, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. I think Gandhi said that. Yes, that's wonderful. Very nice. And we're connecting this all together. Connect it all. When you're finishing the painting, it's about connecting the different bits of life together. Some are happy, some are sad, but know that that's what life is and stay on the joyous side. I like that, I like that a lot. I'm running out of green hair, so that's all the grass we're going to get today, but that's a lovely grass, I like that. Reminds me of springtime. The fresh smell in the air. Yes, the flowers are blooming. Flowers, let's add in, oh, I don't know, some, something that pops right here. flowers are here. Sometimes I find myself wandering through a field of flowers. I have no idea how I got there, but you just keep wandering. You just keep finding that happy place. There it is. Of course, a flower needs a stem. We all learned that in biology class. Not me. I was homeschooled, but by my grandfather. Bob was never really around, but that's okay. He was painting. Let's add, you know, we're gonna get crazy. Let's add a gray stem. Let's get crazy, yeah. Nice. Again, light strokes. Light strokes. And it doesn't matter, you know. I've never seen a gray stem, but I did see it in a dream once, which is pretty much the same thing as seeing it in real life, so we're gonna add that in. That one's got a fat stem, just like me in middle school. There we go. And now, for a final touch, let's do a little fish swimming in this pond. Just swimming around. We're not gonna draw the whole fish, just the fin poking out here, just a fan, like that, beautiful, there it is, let's give him a friend too, and then that'll be it, one friend, because everyone deserves a friend, very nice, maybe it's a lover, I don't know, I'm not one to, you know, get in their personal business, but that's it for now, here it is, the different emotions colliding together with a backdrop of white. The red sunset, the rain coming down. There are many emotions on this, but again, that's what life is. Taking your dreams and bringing them to reality. And that's what I try to bring to you. This painting collides all together.
well, I'm just spent emotionally. Why don't we take a look at this finished piece, mostly finished again, you know. You're finished when you want to be. As you can see, we use some different colors here, which should make you feel some type of way, let's say, distraught. If you want to try this at home, all you need is some watercolors here. We listed the colors for you. And paint some nice, you know, colors and have a nice Pandora station and bring it all together. I, I hope you all enjoyed yourself today. Tune again next week to learn how to paint muses on Painting with Pete.